Let's do this. Arthur. Dutch? Miss O'Shea? Well, feels like we are finally getting back on our feet. You, uh, find a buyer for them bonds we stole? Not yet, but Jose is working on it. When we heading west? Soon? I don't know. Feels like things have changed. The whole world's changed. They don't want folk like us no more. We're being hunted. We are smarter than them. Only the feeblest of men take jobs in the government. <laughs> I hope so. Trust Dutch, Mr. Morgan. You have to. They got Micah! Dutch! Arthur! What's going on? They got Micah. He, he's been arrested for murder. He was in Strawberry It's okay, and... son. Breathe. <sighs> they nearly lynched me. They... They got Micah and the sheriffs in Strawberry, and there's talk of hanging them. Here's open. Arthur, what? The fool brought this on himself. You know my feelings about him, Dutch. You think I can't see past his bluster to the heart inside? He is a fine man. No, I ain't saving that fool. I can't go. My face will be all over West Elizabeth. I am asking. He would do it for you. I don't think he would, but fine, all right. Arthur. You okay, Lenny? Yeah, of course I'm okay. You don't seem okay. You take that kid into town. Valentine, not Strawberry. Get him drunk. And Arthur, no crazy business. I've given that up. And you get Micah out of that jail. Come on, son. I'll get to it, Dutch. Just can't drop everything.
I rode as fast as I could. Didn't stop for nothing. Yeah, you look like you've been through it. <sighs> I'm beat. We finally get off that mountain, then this. Micah's got a crazy side offer. What were you boys doing? You're supposed to be scouting. Head for I kept asking him what we was doing, but he was, you worry too much, kid. Just, just some business to attend to, kid. You know how he is. Yes, I do. He was half soaked before we even got there. Then. Ran into some fellas. One of them, Mike, a new, drank some more. And this is supposed to be a dry town we're in, too. And then he shoots one of them. I don't know how that goes. Couldn't even tell you quite how. Happened like the strike of a match. The law was on us fast, too. They was ready to strangle me up there and then. But I got away, just about. You're all right now. We'll take care of it. So you gonna go get them? I'll come with you. No, you leave it to me. For now, let's drink some. Forget about Mike. It was drank that started all this. We'll just have a couple. Settle you down, then head back, okay? Okay. Now, I should warn you. Me and a couple of the other boys, we got in a bit of a fight last time we was here. What kind of fight? Oh, nothing big. No, we kept it clean. We're all good. <laughs> if you say so, Arthur. There, girl. Now that's a real beauty of all. Okay, girl. This poor fella been torn up. Drops the price, I'm afraid. Thanks, mister. Oh, hello again. Never too soon, huh? Here we are. Hello, man. Hello, mister. Uh, howdy. Hello. Just one or two, right, Arthur? Of course, just a drink. No big drama. Can we get a couple beers, please? You, I don't want no trouble. And you'll get none from me. I was defending myself. Tommy, he's... He'll be fine. Here, have one for yourself. Thank you. <laughs> mm. Micah seemed to know a lot of people. Yeah. That was the problem. How you mean? 
I mean, I done seen a lot of crazy, crazy a stuff, but like a lot of crazy, crazy stuff. Will you shut up? Will you shut up? Be quiet, buddy. <laughs> oh, there, Dullards. My lord. You men is dull. <laughs> and leave this fool alone. Leave the fool alone. People been leaving me alone for the last 10 years. I'm bored with being left alone. Listen, buddy. You're a charming fellow. One of the best. But me and the kid here, well, we're trying to talk business, so could you possibly leave us alone? No offense intended. Ain't no pleasing some folk. Just, just trying to be friendly. <laughs> oh. Mm. oh. <laughs> That's great, partner. <laughs> Lenny, Lenny, where are you? See that feller I was with? Afraid I don't know. Camp. Found my friend. You know where we went? Don't ask me. You know which way my friend went? You all right there, Slugger? Think your friend went upstairs. Hey, Lenny! Lenny, where are you? Hey, you see my friend anywhere? No, sorry. Lenny? Yeah, shut your mouth, mister.
wrong. Damn it, Lenny, stop slumping off on me! I'm Clyde. You got the wrong fellow. Lenny! Lenny! What are you talking about? You moron. Not again. Every time. Where's that horse got to? Morning. Morning.
don't understand this at all. Hey, over here! What's the problem? Problem? No, there's no problem. Quite the contrary. Well, there is a problem. For me, but not for you. All right. <laughs> I ain't got time for no, this. Wait, no, wait! Give me a minute of your life. I might just change it forever. I'm sure you will have heard of me. Maximo Cristobal Valdespino, the renowned explorer. Can't say I have. There has been much written about me. I once had high tea with the Viceroy of India. I helped liberate South America. I've climbed mountains and swum across seas. I have had many women. I've spent the last three months hunting treasure on the American frontier. Beautiful country reminds me a lot of Almeria. But tomorrow I set sail for the island of Shikoku in the Japanese archipelago in search of the legendary Tokushima Sapphire. Huh. Well, good for you. No, no, hold on. You see this map here? It was made by the Jack Hall gang. They robbed banks all the way from here to California. Yeah, I know who the Jack Hall gang are. Oh, them you have heard of, but me? Huh. Well, uh, rumor has it they buried gold somewhere in this area, but were killed before they could retrieve it. They created two maps to ensure it was well hidden. This is the first and should lead you to the second. You just need to follow the landmarks drawn here. Me? Yes. Unfortunately, I am out of time now, but I am prepared to sell it to you for the low price of... <gasps> Ten dollars. A trifling investment for a man such as you, given the potential returns. Ah, uh, what the hell? Why not? A very wise investment. I wish you the best of luck. You're okay. Easy now. Let me have a look at you. It's okay. Yeah, good. Okay, now. Settle down. Easy, easy. Okay, let's keep at it. Hey, now. Okay, that's better. Oh, we're good now, boy. Yep. Easy, boy. Good boy. That's it, boy. There, boy. You're okay, boy.
Keep your distance. Got a criminal here. Judge. Hey, mister. Hello there. Well, who do we have here? That's a fine steed. Got some room in the stable here. I'll give you a fair price. Take care. Your horses are safe and sound with me. Well, here, there's me. packs of savages all covered What the hell are you doing? You stay away from my woman, you son of a bitch! You keep this up? No one's yeah. gonna bet either! Yeah. It's just a little pick on the drink! Uh. Think I'll have another drink? And then go see your wife! Good to see you again. Are you following me? Thanks, partner. You and me again, girl. How's it going? Sorry, girl.
Taught you something. Come on. Easy there.
Yep. to know. I got it. Let's go, girl. Hello, sir. I've uh, I've come from Blackwater. I'm on the trail of a dangerous gang, Como Driscoll. Heard you had some sort of incident. We don't deal with bounty hunters around here, son. I, I was just wondering if I could get a description. Well, they weren't friends. They got in a fight. Two men got killed. Now one of them's an idiot. The other's some kind of dumb mix. So maybe them's your boys. You can look right enough when we hang them. Thank you, sir. Let me out of here, you maggots! <laughs> you think these bars can hold me? You hear me? Boys are coming from And when they do, we'll burn this big town to the ground. You inbred bastards ain't got a brain between you. dollars for the man who gets me out of here. <laughs> Arthur. Hello, old friend. Had a good time, did you? <laughs> you going to get me out of here? I ain't decided yet. Real funny. Oh, I ain't joking, cowpoke. I heard so much bluster out of your mouth these last six months. And now, I got an opportunity to watch you be silenced. But you gotta do something. Why? I always looked up to you, Arthur. Well, that's your first mistake. Listen, there's one little problem. There's only one of me, and there's a whole town full of people wanting to see you swing. You got to do something, Arthur. Dynamite? You might want to step back a bit. <coughs> Let's get out of here. Come on. What the hell are you doing? He wasn't O'Driscoll. Come on, Arthur! 
Woman. Skinny! Get out here! Skinny! It ain't skinny, Micah, it's Norman. Oh. Oh. You always was a letdown, you oh. fat sack of crap! Oh. Excuse me, Leonard Arthur. something of mine. My guns. I showed him. And I'll show the rest of this town! You have really lost it! a house call in the middle of all that ain't much I care about more than those guns that much is clear who was that fella skinny yeah we ran together for a while did a bank job down south didn't end well 
I saw how it goddamn ended. He was gonna let me hang. I'm starting to wish I had. And you owe Lenny, too. If he hadn't found us in time... Yes, you will all be thanked profusely, I promise. Yeah, well, you're lucky Dutch has got your back. For some unknown reason. I think we finally lost him. Well, I hope so. I'm giving you a holster. My way of saying thank you. And thank you. There I was, having a dull day only for you. To liven it up by letting me help you shoot up <laughs> half a town. You're a funny fella, Arthur. Real funny. <clears throat> why you act all sour all yeah, the time? Yeah, well, you ain't funny at all. So why you gotta act like the court jester? All right, listen. I'm sorry, but we're family now. Arthur, you and me. <clears throat> Sons of Dutch. Makes us brothers. <clears throat> Sometimes. Brothers make mistakes. I'm heading back to my little camp where I'm back a strawberry. Come see me. Maybe I can make things up to you. You ain't heading back to Dutch? No, I've been a bad boy, Arthur. I ain't seeing Dutch till I can bring him a peace offering. <clears throat> Bye now. Yeah. That's a strong looking speed. Easy, whoa. Easy, easy. Thank <laughs> you. 
There we go. Lenny? Hey, Arthur. That knife's sharp enough, ain't it? Depends. Why? You feel lucky? <sighs> Do you? Oh, before me? At least six generations were born in chains. And for the last three years, I've been running from every lawman and bounty hunter west of the Lanahassee River. So yeah, I feel lucky. I'm the living embodiment of luck. That is one way of seeing things. But I'm also skilled. And in this game, you got to have luck and skill. And stupidity. The Outlaw's Trinity. Luck, skill, and just a dose of stupidity. Come on. You ain't too old and too slow just yet. After you. As you wish. You know, we should head back up that mountain sometime and make Jenny a proper grave. Something nice. You liked her, didn't you, kid? Uh, well, sure. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I liked her. I know, kid. And I'm sorry about it. Anyway. You did good in town, finding out about that train. Thank you. It was fun. Well, I wouldn't say it was all fun. Hey, Arthur. Ah, uh, what a delightful surprise. Hello, Hello Mr. Morgan. Hello, How was your meal? Fine. Not How are you so doing, glad. Mr. Strauss? Oh, okay. I heard you and Charles went off hunting. You know, yeah. while we were stuck up that mountain, I thought long and hard about if we'd have to eat you. Very amusing. I suggested we roasted you alive, but Mr. Pearson... It was a heap of trouble, but I got Mike stick. out of jail. No, oh, thank you, Arthur. So where is it? Still out around that way. Looking for a peace offering. I like to think so. You got everything you need, Miss Grimshaw? Oh, not by a long shot, Mr. Morgan. We lost a lot of you. We'll be back on our feet soon. <coughs> Arthur? What do you think? I think we're fine. Fine? Oh, given the circumstances. I heard things got nasty on that ferry. You could say so. And that won't lead to more repercussions? Eventually, yeah. But like I said, we will keep moving. What? We're heading east, Dutch. There's not so many places to hide this way. We will think of something. We always do. You always do. I need you strong now, my brother. I'm trying. Mr. Strauss. Good to see you. 